We both want to stay in London, and a lot of people talk about, well, move out, you know, move out of London, but we just sort of thought uh, that doesn't really suit us. So the lady we just spoke to was absolutely brilliant, and explained lots of stuff to us. I think there's, yeah, there's still possibly quite a lot we need to work out. Shared ownership explained. Shared ownership is a scheme aimed at helping first-time buyers onto the property ladder. You only need to afford to buy part of the property, not the whole thing. It's often known as part buy, part rent. How much of the property do I buy? Shared ownership allows you to buy your own home in stages as you can afford it. This is called staircasing and you can buy more shares as and when you can afford them. To start with, you can buy anywhere between 25 and 75% and this will be the share you take a mortgage out for and becomes yours. The remainder you don't buy is owned by L&Q and you pay discounted rent to them for this share. The idea of maybe purchasing 25% of a property rather than 100%, which is just way out of our league, we thought, oh, that's a way of us having some of our money going towards our future, or maybe her future, yeah. How flexible is shared ownership? How much of the property you buy is based on what you can afford. So it changes for each person and means that you won't be overstretched. What happens if my circumstances change? Shared ownership is a stepping stone to help people own their own home. This means that over time, you can stay and buy more shares in the property. If you buy all the shares, then you will own your home outright. Or if you want to move on, you can sell your share for the market value. Register with LNQ now to find out more.